Well, well, firstly, I think we need to change the way we investigate these systems, not casting aspersions on the current uh, people, but I think we need to take these cases away from them and have a full independent system of investigating cases of anti-Jewish racism that involves representatives from the Jewish community in Britain of standing. So, so these are non-party would, members? This would be a completely independent <clears throat> process. I think we need a rule change, and this has been argued by others like Keir Starmer and Gordon Brown, that allows us to auto-exclude from membership people who have a prima facie case to answer of using anti-Semitic uh, behaviours and language within our own structures. Our NEC can agree this at its next meeting and we can change our rules at the conference if there is Well, the really, will. yes, because that, that we've discussed this before and obviously the, the contrast is with Alastair Campbell who was expelled incredibly quickly for, for voting Liberal Democrat and saying that he'd voted we, Liberal Democrat. We could have a very similar system to that. Could you? Uh, and actually, yeah. And how and, quickly could it be put in well, place? Well, Je Je Jeremy, Jeremy has the votes on our NEC. If he willed it, it would happen and it could happen at our next meeting and we could change the rules right. at our conference of the month. So do you uh, still think Jeremy Corbyn can fix this as leader, has what it takes to fix it. Uh, I, I, not only do I think he can fix it, I think he is the only one that can fix it. Is this the moment everything changes with the anti-Semitism row? I is, since, is, is this the thing on which it hinges, the uh, reaction now from the leadership, from Jeremy Corbyn himself to this? I sincerely hope so. All I can say to you, Justin, is that I am not going to turn a blind eye to anti-Jewish racism. I'm going to call it out day in, day out, until action is taken. And that might cause very great difficulty for my colleagues in the Shadow Cabinet, who are also collectively responsible for this. Uh, but until we've dealt with it, until we've actually changed our rules, until we've actually attacked the culture at its root cause, uh, then I'm not going to resign. Tom Watson, Deputy Leader of the Labour Party. Thank you very much.